Wagwan Peaceful Ambition Tribe. Hello, everyone. Guys, this vlog I've been trying to do for the past three months, honestly. If it's not for my schedule, it raining, or something, I haven't been able to do it. So today is the day. Guys, y'all see the title? Yes, I'm going door to door in my neighborhood, knocking on doors, trying to sell my purses. My purses are my brand. It is me. It is my business. So why not put my name out there to my neighbors as well as everyone else in the world, not only just vlogging, but just going door to door. So today you guys will see that and let me show y'all my wagon, okay? But before I do guys, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you also find me on Instagram as well as Facebook. Let's go. All right, people, like I said, I'm going door to door to sell my purses. I got Miss Talani right there in the wagon. I also have all my purses. I didn't bring a whole bunch just because I'm not really expecting to sell out guys realistically, but I made sure that I have every purse that I need. So I have my scatter pieces right here, as you see. I have my gold girls in here. And then I also have my ambitious sis, white and black right there. So I'm gonna have to probably move the white ones, put them at the bottom just because Talani's right here with some Doritos, but we'll make sure that they are protected. But people, I'm going to be walking door to door and I'm going to sell these purses. So we're going to see how much I can make, see if people can subscribe to me, see how interested people are. So let's go. All right, guys, so I got my camera lady here, Miss Akira. Tayden is actually with his friend. He's at his friend's house. So that's why I just got the girls Hi, with me. <laughs> so I think we came to a good starting point. We are basically, we're still in my neighborhood, but we're just like at a different part of the neighborhood. So I'm not, not actually seeing my neighbors, but I'm still in my neighborhood as you guys can see. Boom, boom, we're still in the neighborhood. So I'm just gonna go knock on the door and just say, hey, I'm an entrepreneur. I started my own business. I also do YouTube. Um, can you take a look at my purses? Something, I don't know y'all, I might have to wing it. But I'm not going to have Akira walk up to the door with me just because putting the camera in someone's face, one, it's kind of like, yeah, they're not going to be comfortable with it. And two, um, it might seem a little suspicious. So what I'm going to have her do is just sit off to the side with Talani with the purses and everything. I'm going to tell them that I do YouTube and I'm actually vlogging this experiment and it's okay if I vlog it, you know. So I don't know how much footage we're gonna get, but no matter what, I'm gonna make sure that I drop this video because I really wanted to do this as a motivation, guys. Y'all already know what peaceful ambition is supposed to mean. Ambition at your own pace. You know, that that's what brings your peace to your life. So this is something that I've been wanting to do. And, you know, I talked to a care about it a long time ago. And she was like, okay, all right. I said, I'm gonna get a wagon. I'm gonna do this because it's something that I just feel like it's is people do door to door all the time and just because i'm on youtube does not mean that i shouldn't be doing the same thing that sales people do because i'm trying to hustle and bustle to get peaceful ambition not only youtube channel but also purse brand name out there so i figured what's better than word of mouth what's better than me actually putting in the work akira how do you feel about this what do you think my first thought when you told me was she is very brave for doing this because <laughs> we're going up to random people's houses but i mean you gotta do what you gotta do yeah and i'm proud of you thank you nothing. thank you because it is my brand and you know it's not anyone else's so i can't expect other people to do the footwork if i can't do the footwork myself so we're gonna find a house that looks good and we'll see how it goes I you guys will just be I along did. with me through this whole experience let's go so guys this is the first house mom mom good luck Okay, she rang the doorbell. I'm gonna try to not be so much of a creeper, but. Oh. We're waiting. Okay. First house, first strike. <laughs> Let's keep walking. So we're at another house. I'm an entrepreneur. I just started my own purse yeah, line, first like a purse brand, and I was just walking through the door. Showing people Hi. my products and just seeing if they'll be interested in buying. No, it's okay. I understand. It's okay. Have a good one. I understand. Have a good one. Thank you. Crazy. 
No, she can't see what we're doing. She can see me. So guys, we've been walking for a while now. I did go to a couple homes. Some people is like, no. A lot of people is like, no, honestly. Some people are peeking out the windows and not answering. So, you know, it's all part of the game. I'm not too mad about it because it is what it is. I'm not expecting anyone to really jump for joy seeing someone random knock on their door. But as long as people are open to hear me out, that's all I'm worried about, really. Because, you know, everything happens for a reason. So we're going to circle this little cul-de-sac right here, see if we can get anyone to possibly buy. And then I think after this, we might go home because it's hot. And I got to get taken soon. So let's just see what we can do. Are you ready for this, Mom? Yeah. Yeah. Another one bites the dust, guys. Oof. People are just not answering. I also have these purses. This is the white version right here. Mm -hmm. It's called Ambitious Sis. These are called Scattered Peace. And then I also have it in black, as you see. And then if you like small purses, I also have these small purses. Oh, so cute. Yeah, and I love elephants. So I basically have elephants on everything. So I'm just going door to door. I want to buy any of my purses. They're really, yeah. Because I have a lot and I'm just trying to sell and also get my name out there. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna just do door to door. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me go, let me go inside. Okay. okay? Thank you. Oh. I actually got someone that went inside that seems like they're interested. So we'll see. I just showed her all my purses and everything. I am sweating bullets. But we'll see what works out. So she went inside. Let's see what happens when she comes out. Keep my fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed too, guys. So guys, out of all the doors that I knocked on, someone finally said they wanted to buy. So I just want to say thank you. She got an ambitious sis, as you see. And I hope you love it. I'm also going to give you my business card. And I don't know if you watch YouTube or anything like that. But if you can also follow me on YouTube, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the dream. Hope it thank grows you. and grows and grows. Thank you so I'm much. I'm bringing you everything that you wish. Oh, thank Be blessed. You. Thank you, you too. Have a good one. You too. Bye. All right, people, so I knocked on plenty of doors, got one sale today. This is not gonna be my last time doing this. Actually enjoyed it. Definitely was a little nervous, especially in the beginning, but after a while, it was just like, you know what? If I wanna make money, I gotta do what I gotta do. So thank you to my neighbor that actually bought my ambitious sis. Um, I hope she loves it. I'm pretty sure she will, cause she was excited about it. And like I said, people, this is not gonna be the end. I'm gonna keep on pushing keep on selling and keep on doing what I have to do. All right, people, so I am home now. First and foremost, I wanna shout out you for staying to the end of the video. Thank you for sticking with me through this whole journey. Also, shout out to Akira's Journal, AKA Akira, my baby, for actually being my camera person, motivating me as we were walking because after the third, fourth house that people were peeking out the window, not answering, I was getting really discouraged, even though you guys may not have seen it on camera, but Akira was like, mommy, come on, keep going, keep pushing, it's okay. Even if you make one sale, that's good. It's just your first time. And I was like, you know what, you're right, Akira. So really big up to Akira for always being my motivator, always being that person to kind of nudge me to keep on going. And also to you guys, like I said, shout out for you staying this far in the video. Um, you know, I wanted to do this video, like I said, three months ago, honestly. I think that is kind of my psychs that might have prolonged it, as well as the weather and just being really busy and everything. But I'm glad that I did get the opportunity to do it. And like I told y'all earlier, this is not going to be the only time that I'm going to be doing this also. So I'm going to continue to just do it every now and then, maybe even drive to different neighborhoods and do the same thing, you know, because... I can't expect just everyone, me, to just think that everyone is on Instagram, everyone is on YouTube, everyone is on Facebook, everyone has a computer. You know what, there's a lot of people that don't have any of those things that might be still interested in buying and also being a supporter. So I just wanted to do that and I felt like it was pretty good. You know, despite a lot of people not answering, 
I feel like I made myself proud for actually stepping out of my comfort zone, actually doing it and actually making a sale because I'm not a salesperson either. So I had to like think of something to say while I was talking to the people and everything. So it's all about building confidence. It's all about just knowing that if I don't do it, I can't expect other people to do it for me. You know, I wouldn't even hire someone to do door to door if I can't even knock on people's doors myself to promote myself, my brand. So, you know, sometimes we got to start from the bottom. Now we're here. We got to just keep on building. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm always going to take you guys with me. I'm always going to bring y'all with me because motivation for one, for two, to show you guys that I'm a person just like you. Well, I guess that's still motivation. If I can do it, if I got the courage to knock on random people doors, you guys can also do it too. Start that business, start that dream, start that whatever it is that you always wanted to do. And just know you may not get a whole bunch of applause. You might get some doors shut in your face. In my case, no open doors, but guess what? There's always going to be at least one, two, three, somebody out there that supports you, somebody out there that's looking up to you and somebody out there that's cheering for you, even if it is yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it won't be my first time. It won't be my last time. Just one of the times that you guys saw and we're going to keep this going, maybe in different neighborhoods next time. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And please, please, y'all remember to go over peacefulambitions.com. You see, I'm playing with the designs, doing different designs, don't mind the sweat, but go ahead and support, go ahead and share whatever you can. I greatly appreciate it. And I love you guys. I love my tribe. Remember to always let your ambition to be your peace and I'll see y'all later. I'm taking a shower. Bye.